G'day, welcome to Jez Beer Reviews. Okay, so uh, what's going on with the channel is uh, I'm going on a bit of a diet. Well, put it this way, cutting out uh, alcohol out of my diet pretty much and eating a little bit, being a little bit more sensible, drinking more water. I done it late last year for about six weeks and um, dropped about nearly 4.5 kilos. And then over Christmas, too much cheer, Christmas cheer, put it all back on. Anyway, and uh, as you probably know, I'm a pretty avid bowler. And uh, whilst I'm young, I'm not old, but just hit, when I hit 30 last year, I noticed my joints are, um, especially uh, when you bowl, your left knee takes a lot of the, uh, the, the, uh, the, lot of the force. And... Uh, and that's starting to play up again a little bit. So trying to be sensible, trying to get some weight off. And one way I want to dwell into is the world of uh, non-alcohol beers. What really caught my attention was Han's released one in Australia called uh, Han Ultra. Why it's not zero zero, it's pretty much there. And I actually got a bottle of that, and it's going to be one of the ones I'm going to be reviewing. So uh, there's a lot of stigma around the non-alcohol beers, but if you look up on, uh, if you look at the nutrition information on them. They don't have a real lot of calories. There's no sugars, so it really is a beer flavored. Uh, it is a beer. Uh, they just what they do is they brew it and they um, distill. Just the way you, when you distill, you catch the alcohol and goes down the condenser and cools it down, and catches it. Well, they distill the beer and uh, they catch. I don't know. They probably catch the alcohol. I don't imagine they waste it, but it, you you boil the uh, alcohol out of the beer pretty much, and then you left or slow boil whatever they do. Slow heated, you boil it too much, probably wreck the beer. But um, and then you then you're left with this product, and so a lot of companies do it, which is um, there, there's heaps out there. I'm surprised by how many. It's oh my eyes up. I was like, I've tried that Cooper's Brew years ago, and I was a bit like, um, a bit like, ah, oh, this is horrible. But I've come a long way since then, and also Denny from uh, Sofa King Drunk, um, up there in Scotland. He's been off the beer for a while, and he's lost a lot of weight, looking really fit and good. I think he's doing a challenge in June. I think I saw in his videos. Anyway, and he so he uh, done this one, the Bitburger Drive. Now this one is um, some of them do have a smidge of alcohol in it. But this is zero zero, so it's not supposed to be any alcohol on it, from what I can gather. Um, Bitburger, I have reviewed the Pilsner years ago. I've had it heaps. Uh, a really nice beer. Uh, the Drive is obviously the non-alcohol version. So let's pour it out into this glass. Now, I did try this last night. I actually had two of them. So, yeah, I've doing my research, there is a, a fair bit of um, stigma around the non-alcoholic beer. Uh, a lot of people uh, who drink it due to medical reasons can't have alcohol. Obviously, they get older. Or some people who don't want to buzz but like the beer flavor, like a lot of us, we like the beer flavor. Um, and compared to, like, a soft drink, there's hardly, there's no sugar in it. Um, the sugar gets fermented out. The calories aren't really that high. I think the, the Han Ultra is saying it's like 46, um, under 46 carbohydrates or something like that. So we'll get, dwell into that when we get to that beer. And I do have a non-alcohol uh, Erdinger, uh, non-alcohol Hefeweizen, um, which so this can be really interesting to try. So you look at that, if someone goes to you on a hot day, oh, gee, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? That, like for a Pilsner uh, looking beer, lager. you got two fingers ahead. This, these, uh, it will throw a head, that's for sure. Plenty of head there. Um, so that looks pretty refreshing. The smell is, it smells like a Pilsner, not a full-on Pilsner, like a, a, like a soft-smelling Pilsner. Soft, well, I mean, faint-smelling Pilsner. But, um... It looks pretty good in the glass. I was really surprised how good it looked in the glass. Anyway, um, so if I look at it, let's um, let's delve into this non-alcohol non beer. Cheers. It does honestly have a beer flavour to it. it. Has like a uh, it's not full on like the normal bit burger, but there's like that Pilsner there. It's got that um, Pilsner, German Pils macro bitterness flavor there that lingers. Um, it's light, um, it's super refreshing. Uh, it, you know, it's got no alcohol in it. So it's one of those beers where if you, a lot of them say with the name Drive, if you're a designated driver, you can have this. 
Or if you just, like I said, if you like the taste of beer, you don't like the buzz, you can have it. If you're on antibiotics and you want to have a beer, but you, you can't have a beer because you're on antibiotics, you can have one of these. The flavor is pretty good. Like I said, it's a blind taste testing. I'll tell you what, I don't think many people would pick this out um, as being a non-alcoholic beer. I actually watched a Better Beer Authority, who um, don't do many videos these days, and James Knott runs it, and they've done the O'Doul's, which is an American non-alcoholic beer. Anyway, they've done the um, blind testing on it. Anyway, he, he, has, like a, he, he was pretty much smiling right through watching these guys, his mates, review it. And they all guessed it was in around the 4.2% ABV. That was O'Doul's. From what I read, it's pretty ordinary. But um, I'm telling you, I know O'Doul's, but I'm telling you, this is pretty decent for a non-alcoholic beer. You'd be surprised. If you go in with an open mind, it's not too bad. Flavour. It's light, of course, but it still tastes like a beer. Um, and it's good for on a diet. It's actually... I did have a tendency last time I was uh, I was drinking some soft drink and I wasn't drinking beers. I was drinking soft drink. I still lost weight doing that, but even that's not really great for you. you know what I mean, like, cause the amount of sugar in it. Uh, so, what I, I yeah, actually something I have learnt with this. I had one actually I had two last time. I had pizza. I had, had pizza for a while. So this is not had pizza. And I had one of these, thought that's pretty good, and I thought I'll have one more. Anyway, I had the second, and that was it, pretty much. Without the alcohol um, affecting my brain or the, app you know, the appetite to keep on drinking or keep on eating, um, I was finished at two quite easily. You know, when you think about it, because your urine, it's a, what's, what's alcohol do? It makes you go a little fair bit, you know what I mean? Um, diuretic, isn't it? Pretty sure. So, without the alcohol... I had two of these and that was it, I had enough. I was woof, pretty full. So it's a very interesting little uh, little journey here. Um, I know this is not everyone's boat. I uh, won't be doing this forever, but um, you know, when you're trying to uh, strip down a bit of weight, you know, you got to take, um, you just got to, uh, you know, you got to cut out things you, you love, I suppose. and. Um, you got to make sacrifices, that's a word. you got to make sacrifices if you've got goals. So that's beer's my sacrifice. But I'm telling you what, one of these at night, and you'd be pretty satisfied. I, I tell you, go out there and try on these Bitburger drives. Uh, for a non-alcoholic beer, being that this is the only second one I've ever had, I'm not going to go rate with two crates. I'm going to say it's an A- minus uh, for a non-alcoholic beer, and, that's, um, and it is like a Pilsner. There is a lot of other ones out there I get my hands on, which I will be doing. Um, the wheat one will be the next one I'll do. I'm looking forward to trying that. And then the um, the Han Ultra, the Australian one. So, cheers to you all. Looks like beer. It tastes like beer. It is beer. It's beer that's been, uh, I suppose you could say, uh, they've evaporated the alcohol out of the beer. And you're left to zero. And for being a zero, zero beer, it tastes pretty good. Okay, thanks for watching this episode of Jez. Uh, beer reviews, zero, or non, what would you call it? Uh, non booze beer, I suppose you could call it. But anyway, like I said, thanks for watching the episode. Till next time, you all take care, and I'll see you later.